Hello guys, welcome back to another idle game tutorial. Uh, this is episode 7. Um, yeah, so I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading lately. I've been extremely busy with my own game and uh, just personal stuff. And I just expect that I will be uh, busy for the next few weeks, especially school's coming up. Um, so today we are going to be doing progress bars. Um, so I'm not in any order. I'm just going off a list of stuff I need to do for episodes. But we're going to be doing progress bars, which I think is really important because some idle games are um, have a lot of progress bars or loading bars. Um, it, it's pretty easy, honestly. Um, I changed the look of the game. I inserted my own assets that I made, and I just changed all the text, which is a simple going to your text and then changing the font and the sizes and stuff and changing the buttons is dragging an image that you that you put in your assets it could be a jpeg or a png or even a photoshop so a psd file and you just drag it into the source image right here and it changes it so i can literally make it like that however we want this this one right here um these assets these assets are not free to use but you can try making them on your own. I'm just not going to put a link. Anyways, to the tutorial, we're going to be doing uh, progress bars for these click upgrades since I really don't have anything specific to use it from. And yeah, so I'll be doing that and some good progress bar practices. So we're going to go to my canvas. We're going to create some pro um, progress bars. We're going to start with one. Start easy. Uh, so, to make this a progress bar, we need to, um, we need to, oh yeah, we need to, we need to give it an image right here. So we're just going to use this one right here. Uh, yeah, that should work. Oh, we'll use this one called bar fill, which you can use any, you can just use a square. You just need an image in order to access it. Um. We're going to put it right here under this upgrade. There you go. That's fine. And we're going to call this click upgrade one bar. Okay. So we changed the image type to fill. And right now it's uh, filling in a circle or a radial 360. We're going to change that to horizontal. So then it should fill from left to right. But that's up to you. You can choose whatever you want. So um, it's kind of awkward not having a background here. Basically, you just uh, create another image. Um, this is going to be the actual progress bar, and this is going to be the background because this image right here is higher than the one that's inside this, if that makes sense. So if I make this BG and I drag the bar into the BG, this image will be in front of it. So we'll give this one a background image that I already have called bar BG. And we'll, oops, before you do that, make sure they're the exact same size. And then drag the BG in the bar. And make sure the anchor for the BG is stretched. So no matter what size this is, it will stretch along with it. Anchors are pretty important. And now if we change the fill amount for this, uh, we have a background. Sweet, that was pretty easy. We'll keep that there. Okay, so now we're going to get to the coding part of this. So I'm going to open up my script. So something new you may notice is that, uh, why am I using Unity 2018? That is not, okay, that's whatever, it's fine. I'm supposed to be using Unity 2019 since I finally updated everything. And I'm now using, um, I'm using Rider, which is by JetBrains. It's not free, but I'm doing a free trial for now, and I really like it. And I think you guys can see the fonts much better in this version, in the Visual Studio. So I decided to stick with Rider. Someone suggested it to me. <laughs> um, if you can't see, then just uh, zoom into your page. We don't need this. No, no. It's still loading. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the right script. Okay, so we're gonna start with um. Oops, it's still loading in. 
we're gonna start with episode seven. Um, so our progress bar is basically an image. Why is everything doing this? Okay. What I don't like about Rider is that it automatically saves. Did the Unity just freeze on us? Did we lose Unity already? Oh, rip. Um, anyways, uh, it's an image, so we're gonna create an image called click upgrade one bar. That's pretty much it for that. And in order to change its value from the fill, uh, we use a method called dot fill amount, which basically this method is a public void fill amount and it accepts a float and only a float like that. But we're not doing that since we already have that. Um, so to update it, we're going to go to our update method right here. Let's just drag it to the bottom. Um, we'll do episode 7 here. It's a little mess, so you can guys can clean it up. Um, okay, so we have our click bar dot fill amount equals x divided by y. So what are we filling up? Basically, the progress bar is to determine how far away is the cost from being able to purchase. So what we're going to do is... Okay, my code is freaking out right now. We're going to take coins, since that's the number that's changing, and basically the capacity, the percentage that we need to get, is the click upgrade one cost. That's it. It's that simple. Um, so remember, we can only uh, fill not only a float. So what we're going to need to do here is we need to cast this entire equation right here to float. And that's it. So now this will automatically convert to a float. So before I continue, some good practices you guys should do is since it's a float and it has a higher or it has a lower number of capacity than a double, anything higher than that will result in an error and it will just completely break your code. We have 1.80 E308. So this is a float, this is a double. So anything higher than this number right here will just break your, your whole thing. So how to fix that is you do an if statement. So we're going to take this right here. Remove these redundant parentheses. So if all of this is less than 0 0.01, since nobody can see less than a tenth of a percent, then we're going to set the fill amount to zero, no matter what. But if it's higher, oops, it's else if, else if coins is greater than let's say 10, then we're going to set this to 1, just to be safe. And our else is, it will change to whatever this is, as long as it's in between 0 0.01 and 10. So the fill amount is based on 0 to 1. We don't have to do times 100 to do a percent. It's based to 0 to 1. So 0 to 1, or 0 0.00. To, to 1. Times that by 100, basically, it gives you the percent. But we don't need to do that. Alright, we have our first progress bar ready to go. Well, let's see Unity do its job. No errors. We are good to go. So let's go to our game manager, and we're going to add our new progress bar, which is the bar right here. So now, if we save our game, that's fast. And run it, we should be able to see this right here. Wow, we got a lot of coins. What the heck? That is a lot of coins. Oh, boy. Alright, there you go. We have our coins right here. See how it's incrementing as it approaches the cost. Once this is max, we'll be able to see it fill up. So I can change this. Let's say we wanted this to 8, 9... 19, 29, 39, there you go. 
that's the progress bar. That is pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to do this uh, for other progress bars since it's a simple copy and paste. But um, in review, basically, it's just an image. You create an image. And an image has a uh, method called .fillamount. And you can set that from any number between 0 to 1, and it must be a float. And in order to get that um, 0 to 1 value, you must divide something that you're trying to compare to. Uh, so like coins divided by the cost. Since the cost is pretty much constant, it doesn't change unless you want it to, which in our case it does. But if, let's say we had a progress bar that we wanted to see how the progress bar filling up to 100, well, clearly we would change this to 100 because that, that's how percentages work. Like that. Um... That's all I have for this episode. This is a really short one. It's really easy. Um, just remember, make sure you cast. Uh, if you use anything else, make sure. Like for me, I use big double. For me, there's a method called two double. So I'll just do that and then cast it. But just make sure this is float or else things will not go well with your code. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will try to get to episode eight as soon as possible. Thank you. Have a good day. And also, don't forget to subscribe and um, turn on notifications so you hear the next tutorial. Alright, bye. Yeah, got me in this party all up in a zone. Hottest Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mind, but just can't get you off me. Keep it moving. They ain't worth it. Yeah, that's what my father taught me. But for now, I'm going through the motions of letting go. Because my mind's telling me yes, but my heart really don't know. Your heart went dark out of nowhere, yet I still see a glow. So we had the hottest love. Why'd you leave me in the cold?